Boom, boom, boom. What's happening, brother? How, How are you doing, man? What's cracking? It's good to be back. Good to be back. Good this to place see is you. always amazing. It's like it's a, it's like a little. It's a it's a bit of an amusement park almost now. Yeah. With stuff to see and the and the gym equipment and everything. I keep thinking I should just bring my gear over and work out before yeah. the show or after the show. But get loose. I don't want to embarrass myself. So I'm going to embarrass you. Yeah. I'm not going to watch. I'm going to watch you work out. <laughs> he would. He would. <laughs> Jamie's that kind of guy. Yeah, I've seen him give me side eye. He would give you yeah, side eye. So. <laughs> uh, but no, thank you. It's a, yeah, it's all good. Everything's everything's good. I've been traveling a lot. Haven't uh, we just talked before we started about Idaho? Haven't had a chance to get back there. But uh, yeah, all good, all good. So you're around for a television show? Is that what you're doing? Um, yeah, this is this is uh, there's a, there's several meetings going on here. But we just finished uh, uh, filming uh, a show, a reality show um, for. Uh, can I say the network? I, you know, they're they're kind of hinky on until we get closer to the air date, which is October. Uh, but it's for the Discovery Network, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a great show that, that Why I'm do hosting. I not want yeah. you to say the name. Well, you know what? That's what I always said. I always thought free publicity is a good thing um, but they're very tight on the marketing uh, protocols and so mm-hmm. they want to make sure they've got it all buttoned up and I get that right they spend you know a lot of money on these things and fucking so, control freaks yeah and so anyway it's but it's going to be a great uh, a great show we spent the past three or four months um, uh, filming it around the country a uh, really good production team and uh, the stories are fantastic it's basically looking at I guess I'm talking about it now I'm not supposed to but we're looking at um uh, military government organizations that are typically in the shadows, right? We're not releasing any sources and methods. We're not disclosing any classified secrets. But we're talking about elements and units, operational activity, um, events that uh, before now have pretty much been in the shadows and some incredible people. That's one of the best parts about this thing has been going out there and meeting some of these guys that are doing some of this high-speed shit. And it's it's pretty amazing. And when when they do release things like long long after, like I was reading something, uh, I forget what the case was about, but it was something about how the the files won't be released under the Freedom of Information Act until twenty eighty. Mm-hmm. Well, like, how do you? <laughs> yeah, I know. What do they? How do they make that distinct? Like that was yeah. the thing with the Kennedy assassination, right? And sometimes they roll it over, and it's not even then, right? So sometimes they extend mm-hmm. that. Um, other times they don't, and and so some information comes to light periodically. Um, and so this does look at the, this. This show will be looking at some historic, but a lot of current things that are going on, and and where the money goes, right? What are we spending our money on when it comes to this high speed operations that the special forces and others are, are involved in? Um, so it'll be it'll be very good. I was I was lucky to be able to work with again you know some really great people on the production side but just also going out there and meeting some of these cats they're just the 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 shit that they do is 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 even after being around a while as i have um it just amazes me well it's got to be constantly accelerating too right there's they're constantly coming up with new and spectacular things that nobody knows about yeah until yeah. they employ them right exactly and sometimes the, the, the shit stays on the shelf right you know you the, it was like the the running joke at the agency at the at the cia was you know they we have a fantastic s and t group a science and technology group and they're the ones responsible like q uh from from bond right mm-hmm. they're the ones responsible for developing all the gear uh responding to specific operational requirements how are we going to do this particular thing well let's develop a piece of kit that's going to allow us to do it um but the running joke is always that you know they'll develop it and they'll show it to you before an operation but then they'll put it back on the shelf because they don't want that shit getting out there right and people finding out that they've got it so they'll give you like a a a 20 year old piece of kit to use instead and you'll be walking around with like a phone the size of a brick um knowing that they've got something high speed on the shelf well that's what everybody always thinks like when when you talk to the average joe on the street about technology and the government there was like dude the stuff they have that they probably don't tell us about how much of that is real yeah um it's it's pretty real have you seen some stuff that made you go holy shit yes they can do that yes really yeah and how much can you tell us um well you know what one thing that they're doing and and this this is actually something i wanted to talk about uh today uh because it's going to affect everybody it's not just something that that is going to affect people in the military or else in the intelligence community uh but one of the things that they've been working on is imagine you've got a you got to rock up on a on a target, and you're but you're before you do that before you you get the customers on site and you're gonna you know hopefully obtain some high value uh, targets there at that location. Before you do that, well, you got you talking gotta, like euphemisms. Oh, I'm sorry. Before so, you're gonna okay. nuke 
people. Yeah, yeah before you, yeah, before you're going to go in there. Blow terrorists yeah. into another dimension. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, you, well, okay, actually, I was going to say, sometimes you want to actually capture them and get their intelligence. We've gone past that, right? Because the years where we were getting our ass kicked for holding on to people in, in detention facilities, um, you know what that did? That that pretty much convinced everybody uh, that was involved in this to just, just whack them, right? Because then you don't have to deal with the aftermath. You don't have to worry about, are you going to get in trouble for interrogating Guantanamo somebody? Bay right, exactly. So, yeah. so that actually increased the lethality of operations. 